Are you wondering if you can have someone edit a specific item on a monday.com board through a form? Or maybe if they can view the information that they submitted and then edit it, but on a form, not actually on the monday.com board. And the answer is yes. Let me show you what you need to do to set up this functionality. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. If you look on this board, you can see that we've set up a client onboarding board. Essentially, we have information about our clients. Now, what we want to achieve here is we want the client to be able to view this information, potentially make changes to it, and then also fill out a new field because we want to ask them what their newsletter preferences are. So the way that we do this is we set up the board with whatever columns you want. Then you need to add a super form. So a super form is an app. If you click up here, you can add it to your Monday account as an app, and then you need to add it to your board. So you would just hit the plus button and then you would add it. And you can see over here that I already have super form set up, which we'll get to in a minute. Now, the most important thing about super forms that you need to know is super forms has the ability to update an existing item on the board. So what I have here is if you look at all of these clients, you can see that there's forms here. All of these forms are automatically populated with an automation that I'll show you in a minute. And I can send this link to the client so they can view this information. So let me show you how you set this up. The first thing you need to do is set up your columns. You can have whatever columns you want on this board. The next thing that you need to do is create a link column. So you can see that this is a link column over here because that's where we're gonna put the link to our form. Now we have to set up our form. So I've actually already set up the onboarding form. If you see here, it opens. Now, this form is a form that's gonna update an existing item. So if you click on settings, this is the most important thing where people get messed up all the time. You need to hit update as opposed to insert. Insert means create a new line item on your board. Update is going to update an existing item. So what I've done is I've added the columns to my board and now I'm deciding which ones I want. So let's say column company name is mandatory. I'm going to hide submission date. Your name, I've added allow update, which means that the client can change that information. Email, again, they can change the information. Phone and newsletter preferences. Now, if I wanted them to see information but not change it, so I can unclick allow update, but they'll still see the information. Okay, so we have all these questions and here are the fields on the board that are hidden. Now, once my form is set up, I need to go to the automations and you need to set up an automation. When you go to templates, you search for super form and you see that there are three automation, sorry, more, six automations for super form. The first one that I'm going to do is when an item is created, generate a link to update a super form and put the link in the column text. Okay. So remember we had the link column. So here I have onboarding for it. I already did this, but I'll just show you how it works and text. This is what you want the link to say. So you can say form or whatever you want. And then you have to click your form update form. I will tell you that if you don't see your form pop up here, it means that you left in the tool section, you left it on insert as opposed to update. I've done that many times. So make sure that you're on update. Now, what this means is that as soon as a new item is created on this board, and I'll show you an example. So let's just say we have a new client come in, client number four, a link is gonna be automatically populated over here. So here we have our link. Now I want to send, let's just say client number three is a new client and I want to send this form to them so that way they can see the information and update the newsletter preferences. I did add some automations to automate that, but I just want to show you what it looks like. So the form is auto-populated. Now if I click on the form, 
this is what it looks like. So client number three, they see it, which is really their name, but they can't update it, right? Because remember we set those settings. Now here I have my name. So let's just say I wanna update my name. Let's just say I wanna be called T instead of Tara. So I can update that. Let's say I wanna change my email address. Again, I can just change my email address. So I'll just change this. And you know what, here I'm just gonna put my husband's name. I can change my phone number. And now I wanna hit newsletter preferences. So I'm going to say that I want a weekly newsletter. I hit submit. And you can see when I come back to this board, client number three, remember I changed the name to Jesse and I have a weekly newsletter. So essentially just to recap what I've done, I've automated the creation of a form that's specific to each item on this board. I set my conditions so some items will only be seen, some will be updated, and some are new to be filled in. And then when the form is filled in, the information shows up on this board in the exact item. It did not create a new item. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video, and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.